What's up, YouTube? Jeff back again from DopeTechDaily.com. And if you're an Android fan, you know that there are two big things going on this week. One, the Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus are now officially out there in the wild for all of us reviewers. I have one right here. Also, Samsung's starting to ship the pre-orders. My pre-orders from my T-Mobile orders, they all got charged today, so they should be shipping pretty soon. And the other big thing that's going on is that Android P Developer Preview 1 actually released earlier this week. I do have a full review of Android P Developer Preview 1 and all the new features that Google has included in that release. So you want to check that out, I'll drop the link below. But in that video, the comments on that video, there was something very interesting. A lot of people with Samsung phones, like the Galaxy S8 and the S8 Plus from last year, were commenting that their phone probably wouldn't receive Android P and that they're not going to get any of the new features for a long time. And that's not really true because, one, the Galaxy S9 supports Project Treble, so there's a chance that we're going to see faster updates this year. And number two, a lot of the features that Google introduced in Android P are actually already prevalent on the Galaxy S9, even the Galaxy S8 uh, running Oreo. So you can get a lot of these features now, and I wanted to talk about some of the features that are available on the Galaxy S9 that are introduced in Android P. So the first thing is Google introduced this new colorful settings menu. This is one of the biggest visual changes in Android P. You guys can see each of the little tabs right there. They have their own little color right next to them. But Samsung's been doing this for a really long time. So if you look at the Galaxy S9, you go into the settings, you'll see that each of the little tabs also has a little colored portion. Personally, I think Samsung's looks even better and even more understated than the one on the Android P running on the Pixel 2 XL right there. The color is a little bit more understated and I think looks a little bit nicer. So this visual change that Google introduced to the settings menu is something that Samsung's actually been doing for quite a while. And for those of you thinking that you're missing out on the new notification shade, well, in my opinion, the Samsung notification shade again looks cleaner than the one running on Android P. That's my personal opinion. You guys can let me know what you think in the comments. But these little circular disks around the various categories in the quick settings are not really my favorite thing in the whole world. Uh, the next thing is the ambient display on the Pixel 2 XL, you can see it on the Pixel 2 as well, now displays your battery percentage, you guys can see right there. That's a new feature in Android P, that's the developer preview. But Samsung's been doing that as well for a really long time, and theirs is actually displayed in a better position where it's easier to see. So if you look at the always-on display, you've got your battery percentage right there below the time, and your notifications there. Personally, I, again, like the Samsung implementation better. The time and the battery percentage are closer together, so it's easier to see both at the same time. And also, the battery percentage is a little more prevalent here. Of course, some people would say that might lead to... Uh, possible issues with retention over time, but really that shouldn't be an issue at all with the AMOLED displays. But that's again something that Samsung's been doing for quite a while that was introduced in Android P. The next thing is the screenshot markup tool. So I illustrated this in my video on Android P. If you take a screenshot now in Android P, you'll see at the top once you get the uh, edit option here, it'll give you the option to use this new app called Markup which allows you to basically doodle and annotate uh, your screenshot. You can circle some things like this, you know, comment, whatever you want to do. Mark up the whole thing. You can shade it. And then you can actually hit the check mark. This will get saved to your camera roll. You can also share it. But Samsung's had a screenshot editor for quite a while now. So if you actually go in here and check out, if I take a screenshot on my Galaxy S9, again, I can actually edit it right away down here at the bottom, tap on draw, and I can actually have a lot more rich options with which to draw. So I've got the pen, I've got a whole bunch of different pen tips, a bunch of different colors with which I can annotate. Uh, you can also rotate it. Um, there's a lot of options. Crop, and then you can share everything you know, directly from here as well using the share button to all of your social media links and everything like that. I think Samsung's implementation is actually better than Android P. However, if you do want the markup app that I just showed you from Android P, you can actually download the APK, and then when you take a screenshot, so if you take a screenshot like that, and you go to share, if you install the markup APK, you guys can see I already did it, I'll drop the APK below, it's just a file, you just load the app, tap on markup, and then you'll get the exact same screenshot editor that I just showed you guys over there on my Pixel 2 XL running Android P. But really, to be honest, the Samsung one has more features, it's more feature rich, 
It's a little bit easier to go through and share to your social media right away. It's a little bit easier to crop the photos and everything like that. So personally, again, I feel like Samsung is ahead of the curve there. So that's pretty much everything except one last thing, which you guys probably noticed on my Galaxy S9, is that I'm actually running the Android P Pixel 2 XL launcher that I have on over here. And you can get this. This is, again, just an APK that you can install. So if you grab the APK, I'll drop the link below so you can download it. Go ahead and install it on your Galaxy S9 or your Galaxy S8 if you're running Oreo. You do need to be running Android Oreo uh, or above to get the uh, Android P Pixel launcher. You'll notice that it does not look that great in my opinion, so I don't know why very many people would want it, but some people were saying that they're interested. There are a couple of restrictions to note. Uh, if you go to home screen settings, you'll see right here that it says display Google app when you swipe to the left. Um, I actually tried that on the Galaxy S9 and it actually doesn't work. So I'm gonna play around with that and see if I can find a way for it to work, but I think that's supposed to be reserved for Bixby Home, and I turned Bixby Home off, actually disabled that. Um, so I don't think it's gonna let me use the uh, Google screen there by swiping over. So that's one restriction. Otherwise, pretty much everything else works. You've got your notification dots, everything like that. You can see notification dots are working. I've got one there on my Gmail, which has got a notification waiting for me. And it's a very nice, clean launcher. So otherwise, it's always nice to have the Pixel launcher on your Samsung phone. You've got at a glance at the top, everything like that. All right, guys, so that's pretty much an overview of getting these Android P features on your Galaxy S9. Or again, if you want to get the Pixel launcher, you can also do that on the Galaxy S8. A lot of these features already existed. As I said, Samsung has sort of innovated, and then Google borrowed some of those things and put them into Android P. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed the video, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon so I can make future videos like this. Find me at dopetechdaily.com, Google+. Plus. Instagram and Twitter at the links in the description. You guys can also grab those APKs from below if you want to install the Markup app, a P Android P Pixel Launcher on your Galaxy device if it's running Oreo or above. You can also find me writing at gadgethacks.com where I write about Android. I appreciate you guys checking out the video and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.